Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make these beautiful geometric seed beads earrings. I'm showing step by step and they are really easy to make so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make them even if you are a beginner. You could check description for a lot of useful resources and you will see what you get if you decide to become a member of this channel, which now is a course of five Peyote Stitch videos. You're invited to subscribe with the bell if you still haven't and like, share and comment this video and you, with this you help me so much and you make me do more and more free tutorials for you. Thank you so much for watching now. Without further ado, let's get started with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are four colors of 11-0 seed beads, red, green, yellow and black. I'm also using here earring findings. This is fire line that is 0.17 millimeters or you could use 0.15 millimeters, it will still work great, but don't use monofilament for this work. And by the way, if you check description, you will see useful resources like all list of materials, other similar tutorials, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel, link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials and you will see what you get if you decide to become a member of this channel for less than $5 per month, which now is a course of 5 videos. And here I'm using size 10 beading needle, scissors and these are pliers that are not obligatory but I use them only if I need to go through the difficult beads. Okay, and now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm going to start this geometric design by picking up 8 red beads and I'm going to slide those down almost until the end of my work. And here what I want to do is to make a knot and I'm making my knot by making here a loop and going twice or even three times if you want through this loop here and then I make one more knot just to be sure it's all tight and secure as I always do in my tutorials and now I have this beautiful circle of beads that I want to turn into a square and how I do this I'm going in one more bit in this direction. Uh, how I do this? I will make angles here. So I skip this one that's on my way and I go through the following red bead. Okay. Now I want to make an angle. That is why I'm pulling it a little bit to this side. And when I pull tight here, you see how this one pops out and forms an angle. Then I'm skipping the next one that's on my way. I pull. And I have another angle here. You should pull tight. Then I skip the next one. form another angle and the next one and I form one more angle and you see how I turn this into a square or a rhombus whatever you want to call it okay now what I want to do is go here through this bit, through the angle bit. And I'm going to pick up two greens, one black and two greens. I skip the next one and go through the following angle. Then again, two greens, one black, two greens. Skip the one that's on my way and go through the following. 
repeat it until the end okay in my next step I'm going through these two green beads in this direction and I'm taking black red black and I skip here the central black and I go through the following in my next step I need two yellows a red and a two yellows and I go here in the green that is next to the black one and the same sequence black red black okay and the same sequence two yellows one red and two yellows here is what I have and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row the same way okay now two yellows red two yellows red black red two yellows red two yellows and I'll meet you here okay and I have these five beads here and I need to go through this green okay like this and if you couldn't make it up to here just rewind the video and repeat the first steps that I showed you in this row one more time and everything will be okay and in this row guys what I want to take are two reds one green and two reds and I go in the next red one then again okay go in the next red with the same sequence of beads okay here they are and now continue these guys until the end and I'll meet you here at this point okay guys and here I am at my last step where I need to add my last five beads from this row and I add them here where I started my row from and if you worry about the missing steps that I'm not showing they are there just it is one and the same thing all the time that's why I'm not showing this but if you rewind the video you will be able to make them okay so now I go through two red beads I take three reds I skip the green one here and I go through the following red what I need next is a black, a yellow and a black and I go here through this red one that is next to the green three red beads skip the green one and go through the following now black, yellow and black go through the red that is next to the green three red beads skip the green and go through the following red black yellow black again repeat the same thing then Three, three reds black yellow black three reds black yellow black and you repeat this up to here and you could always rewind and see these steps and repeat them okay meet you at this point okay and here I am where I'm adding my last three beads from this row then what I want to do is go through these two beads here exiting out of the top of this this bead that's sticking out the most and now what I want to take 
is green, black, yellow sequence. And I go through the yellow. Then yellow, black, green sequence and I go through the red that is sticking out. And again, green, black, yellow, go through the yellow. And yellow, black, green and go through the red one. And how I know uh, how my sequence goes, uh, next to the yellow should be another yellow. So here I'm next to red, so I start the other way around. Green, black, yellow. And now because I'm next to the yellow, I want to take yellow, black, green. Okay, and I'm going to continue this until the end and I'll meet you here. Okay, and I'm here where I'm adding my last yellow, black, green. And in my next step, I want to go through the green and through the black one. Here is what I do. Now I want to take five green beads and I want to go here in the next black one. And in my next step I'm going through the following green. I take four yellow beads. I slide all of those down like this. I skip these three, not go through them and go through the fourth one and also through the green in this direction. And I also went through the black, it's okay. Now when I pull, I have this beautiful form here guys. Okay. I have five green beads again. I skip the yellows and I go through the black and through the green. If you can do this in one movement and pull. Then take four yellow beads. Slide those down, skip these three beads and go through the fourth one and then through the green and through the black. And when you pull and make some additional fixing, you have again this beautiful element. And I have five beads. I skip the yellow ones and I go through the black one. And after that through the green. I will show you one more time this part. Okay, I have four yellow beads. Slide those down, skip this three and go through the fourth one and through these two in this direction. So when I pull, I have this beautiful element. Okay, and it's all the same guys. Continue these two steps and I'll meet you here. Okay guys, and I'm here at my last step where I need to add my last four beads from this row. And how I do this? In the same way, pulling and fixing. And now I want to make an additional step and make my work stay in a better shape. And it is to go around the edge and reinforce it. Here I go through the first two of these five green beads that I added in my previous row. Then I don't go through the central green bead, but go through the next two and through the black like this. And when I pull, I have this beautiful angle. Then I, what I want to do is also reinforce this element here. And how I do this, just go around the edges of this 
element, I mean through all of the beads. I know it is time consuming, but at the end everything will stay and look better, so it's worth it to do this. Okay, just form angles and go through the yellow parts here to reinforce them, keeping the green one at the center, going through the following two greens, pulling this angle out and doing this and now I will continue with these steps until the end and I'll meet you here. Okay and I'm here guys where I just reinforced all the beads around the edges and what I want to do is exit through one of the angles that I created here, the green angles. Okay. And I want to take my earring finding and you see where I want to attach it. Here at this point where my yellow beads are and not here at this point. Because I prefer to look like a rhombus to be attached in this direction. If you understand what I'm saying. Okay. And now what I want to take are two black beads. Then I'm taking my earring finding. Okay, here it is. And I take two more black beads and I will go back in circle through this green one, just like this. I reinforced this part here. And now what I want to do is go to a place to make a knot. Let's say I'm going here at the angle. And I'm making a knot here guys by making a loop. And I'm going once. Then I'm going second time through this loop I've made. I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from and I pull. Then you could repeat this several more times and when you're ready you go through the following few beads just like this. I will go here at the back of my earring. And I will cut my thread. And now guys my geometric seed beads earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe with the bell if you still haven't. You also help me a lot by liking, sharing and commenting and you motivate me to make more and more tutorials. Check description for useful resources and to see what you get if you decide to become a member of this channel. Thank you so much for being here and watching this video. You could continue with the next video that you see on your screens. Bye bye from me.